Hey, what's up guys? Um, today, I am going to show you how to calculate a square root of a number without using a calculator. Okay? Uh, now, um, now, we obviously know we can use a calculator to do that, but that takes the fun out of it. Mathematicians, as a rule, like to figure things out on their own with good old-fashioned pen and paper. Okay? So that's what we're going to do today. And this is something we should all know if we enjoy math. Alright? So I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, we have something that says the square root of 40. Right? It's not, it's not a, we can't, we can't get a perfect square out of that. Now if it was 49, we just, we know that 7 times 7 is 49. So the square root would be 7. Alright? If it was 6, if it was 36, the square root of 36, we know it was 6. But it's not a perfect square, so we cannot do we can't do we can't figure it out without a calculator or with this other option I'm going to show you. What we want to simply do now is turn this thing into a division problem. So let's do it. All right. Now what we need is a number that when multiplied by itself, is equal to is less or equal to 40 but not over 40 okay the biggest number that we can find so we we know we already know we're between 6 and 7 because I've already showed that 6 times 6 is 36 and 7 times 7 is 49 all right so it's going to be between 6 and 7 Okay, that's our only option. We know it's not going to be 7 because 7 is 7 times 7 is 49. It's over 49. 6 times 6 is 36. It's not over, but it is less than 40. So let's simply do that. 6 times 6. We do like regular uh, division. We just multiply that 6 times 6, giving us this number here. All right. We're going to need a little bit of... There we go. Now what we do in this case now, what we have to do is we bring down sets of zeros and twos. When we're figuring out square roots and we're doing by the division method, we need to bring down zeros and sets of two. So we're going to simply do that. Sets of two. All right, so there is what we have now. Now we have to take this number right here. We take this number and we simply double it. Okay, we simply double that number. We put it over there. We put a underline here times an underline. And I like to put the less or equal to sign. Now we're looking for a number 1 through 9 that we can put here and also here. And that's going to make some kind of bigger number that's in its hundreds that when multiplied by a number is less or equal to 400 but not over 400. Okay, now what we want to do here is you get better as you go along. Right off the bat, I can see that it's possibly going to be a 3. I know that 3 will work just by looking at that. So that reads 123 times 3 is going to be less than 400. If I chose a 4, I know 124 times 4 is over 400. So that is the limit right there. I can't use 124 times 4. But the one before that I can use. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, and then what we're going to do is take that 3. We found that special digit, that special number. We got to put a point there. We got to put a 3. Now let's simply 
uh, times 3 times 123, I happen to know it is this number here. Okay? Then we're going to just follow the steps. Okay? 10 minus 9 is 1. Okay, and we know that this is going to be a 3. Okay, this is the point again. We have to bring down two zeros. Sets of two zeros. There we go. Now what we have to do, we have to take this number here, we have to multiply it by two, but just disregard the points at this point. We don't need, even need to worry about the points. Simply multiply this by two, or actually double it. We're gonna double it. We're gonna have this number. Put the space times the space. Okay, so we're looking for this nice new number. We need a number one through nine that we can put here. It has to be the same number here and the same number here. That when multiplied become less or equal to 3100. I can see right now it'll be a two. All right? Because if we multiply 100, uh, 1200 times four, we have 4800. If we multiply a 1200 times about a three, we have 12, four, we have over that, we have 3,600. So we know the only number it has to be is two because uh, 1,200 times two is 2,400. So we simply do the math. Now, this number that we found, we put right up there. Now, what I'm seeing now, we're going to be able to go on probably forever and ever and ever. It may not terminate. This is simply an approximation. I approximated 3.36.32. And in most applications, that is a good... That is a good... Um, approximation this thing's gonna go on forever and ever we're just gonna continue to follow the steps um, but we simply don't need to do that because most teachers like things and most applications depending on the application and how big the problem is this is gonna be pretty accurate so we're left with the square we know that the square root is now that number. We know the square root of, what were we, 40 is going to equal that. So this is a really good problem and this should get you, this should show you the information to be able to do this on your own. Okay? This is the way I learned it and I think this is actually quite fun and quite simple once you get used to it, you get better as you go on. You just know how to uh, find what these digits are. All right, guys. Thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. All right. Bye.